Hey guys, so yesterday we, uh, well we, I opened, uh, the first mystery pack and it was from Rocks of Bucks in 90. It was awesome, I had a blast, hopefully uh, you guys did too. And I got another mystery pack, actually I got two mystery packs from Germany. I have no idea what they are. Yeah! I'm excited. This is awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, start spinning. We also got the bad boy Tempest down there. Hopefully get something good out of that. So uh, let's go ahead and get some spinning going. Ooh. Ooh. Another Urza Saga. Last pack was freaking awesome. So let's uh, let's get something good. See you guys in a second. It's time for Urza Saga. It's time to get a cradle. Trying desperately to not suck at opening these and getting the order right. Luckily, Urza Saga has colors, so that will help. Just gonna make sure, okay, yes, those are commons in front. So if we go one, two, three, four, and put those on the back, we should be good. Alright. We're going to start off with a Goblin Matron. Pretty cool card. She is sexy. We have a... Bleh, a Critian? Sure. Smoldering Crater. Wild Dogs. Dangos. Headlong Rush. Skittering Scourge. Disciple of Law. Catalog. Awesome name. Hush. Path of Peace. Blanchwood Tree Folk. The first uncommon is Zephyd's Embrace. Alrighty. Presence of the Master. Okay. Hopping Automaton. And show and tell, sneak attack, Gaius Cradle. It's, there's got to be something else. <sighs> Our rare is Child of Gaia. It is a 7 7 for 6, 3 colorless, 3 green. Trample during your upkeep, pay green green or sacrifice it. And it has 1 green regenerate child of Gaia. These Urza Saga packs have been very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. That's okay though, because it's still opening old packs and it's cool because I don't know half of these cards. Well, more than half. But we did get Sex Pot Goblin Matron. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's okay. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.